As we get set for basketball here, the tip is controlled by Arkansas Baptist College. The Buffaloes, Wayne Jones starting things off. Jones kicks it out. Now a long three on its way. Swish. Darius Williams starts the scoring, and it's a 3-0 lead for Arkansas Baptist, just like that quick bucket, Nathan. Yeah, they, this team is talented. We saw them in Little Rock, and they, they put up a good fight. Lost 90-82. to 82. It's a team that's very successful from beyond the arc as well. Braylon Steen puts up a floater, won't go. Rebound Buffaloes. Here comes Arkansas Baptist. Just underway here in the first half. 19-23 to play. It's 3-0 Buffaloes. Kicked out to Ron Walker, who wears number three here on the near wing. They'll wheel it around to Jones. Wayne Jones posts up. Long three. Won't fall. And K.J. Quarter pulls up a big rebound here. The Nighthawks looking to get on the board for the first time tonight as Quarter finds running room on the inside lane. All alone lays it up and in for two. Quarter starts the scoring for the Nighthawks. It's a one-point game, 18.55 to play. Lowell Washington comes up with the rebound, and now the Nighthawks in command here early. Coming across the timeline is Quarter. Quarter nearly loses it. A foul comes in. This one's going to be against Ron Walker of Arkansas Baptist College. These two teams, like Nathan said, they faced off in Little Rock earlier this year. The Nighthawks able to get a big road win there. It was part of that long road stretch for the Nighthawks where they played something like six road games in seven games. Nighthawks basketball in the front court. Washington pulls up for three. A little bit too hard off the rim, no good. And it goes back to Arkansas Baptist. Wayne Jones, top of the key, kicks it out now. As Darius Williams drives inside, he was looking to find Troy Atkinson with a low pass. It goes out of bounds. Washington finds Duke. Here come the Hawks. Final time here at National Park College this season. The Nighthawks looking for a win. Adair bounce pass inside to Washington in traffic. Kicks it back out to Pierre. Good pass. Inside Seth Duke. Pull up shot. And there's the first lead of the night for the National Park College Nighthawks. Four to three off that bucket by Seth Duke. The Buffalo is looking to answer quickly here. Long three on its way off the front of the rim. No good. Steen's got the board. Here come the Hawks. National Park with its first lead of the ball game, 4-3. Oh, and Steen. Miscommunication there. Mismatch with Duke, and that's a turnover. It's Clyde Ricks time as he checks in for Pierre Adair. Coach Hudnall turning up the D early. Coming across the way will be Malcolm Jones for the Buffaloes of Arkansas Baptist. Trades off with Wayne Jones. Now a pull-up three by Jones. A little bit too hard. Clyde Ricks has a rebound. First board of the night for Ricks as he'll get it to quarter to start things off at the top of the key. Steen on the inside. Puts up a shot, draws the foul. And Braylon Steen will be the first to the free throw line tonight for either team. Foul is charged against Troy Atkinson of Arkansas Baptist College. Teams first. And one opportunity on its way, no good. Pulled down by the Buffaloes. Ron Walker across the timeline. They'll wheel it around to Malcolm Jones. Jones drives against Quarter, puts up a shot, and sinks it. Lead is just one now for the Nighthawks. Want to thank everybody for tuning into the broadcast tonight on X-Zero Sports and on YouTube. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. The Nighthawks lead by one. Down low in the perimeter. Seth Duke, a three won't go. Steen's put back, no good. And now the ball's going to go out of bounds. It stays with Arkansas Baptist. 16.33 to play in the opening act here. First half action here from National Park College in Hot Springs. Six to five. Darius Williams started the game with a big three. Kicks it out down low. There's Wayne Jones from beyond the arc. No good. Walker with the rebound. Inside, Williams puts up a shot for two. So the Buffaloes regain the lead. 
seven to six. A four point run for Arkansas Baptist here. Washington tries to find Seth Duke, it's taken away. And the Buffaloes looking to add to the lead here all alone. Troy Atkinson lays it in for two. It's a 6-0 run for Arkansas Baptist after the Nighthawks had him doubled up early. Quarter thought about the long three, drives in instead. Bounce pass intended for Quarter from Duke, and it's out of bounds back to the Nighthawks. 15-34 to play here in the first half. Ricks bounce pass inside Quarter. Quarter dribbles away. Finds Braylon Steen on the inside. Turnaround jumper. Puts it up. It's good. And the Nighthawks pull within one, nine to eight. Four points tonight for Braylon Steen. Yeah, Steen was, had a big game against this team at, at, in Little Rock in their first meeting. Wide open three. Won't go. They're fighting for the rebound. Steen's got it. So Braylon Steen finds Clyde Ricks. There's the Nitrous. As Ricks hurries into the front court, finds Seth Duke on a beautiful pass, and it's in for two. The Nighthawks will be the first to 10 points tonight. It's 10-9. Back and forth we go here from Hot Springs. Walker into the front court, down low. Duke got a hand on it. It's picked up by Braylon Steen. Seth Duke had a great first few minutes against Champion on Saturday, leading the Nighthawks to victory. Now K.J. Quarter puts up a shot. No good. Clyde Ricks dives in looking for a steal. In hot pursuit of the Buffaloes. Now top of the key, Wayne Jones has to deal with a feisty Clyde Ricks. Great defense from number four all year long. Atkinson puts that one in for two. The lead goes back to Arkansas Baptist 11-10. 14.05 to play in the first. Down low is Lowell Washington in the corner. He drives inside looking for space. Puts up a shot in traffic. It's good. This Arkansas Baptist team had a lot of long three-pointers in Little Rock. It looks like uh, National Park's really playing that perimeter a lot tighter. They're forcing them into the inside, Nathan, and so far they've been able to capitalize. There's Atkinson again. He's been really good on the inside so far tonight. Big name for the Buffaloes. Six points already. 13 to 12. Back and forth this lead goes. 13-28 to play. Lowell Washington to Steen for three. Got it. A big bucket there. As the Nighthawks now lead by two. Inside to the front court, that's Darius Williams. He trades off with Jones. And there's Clyde Ricks in his face. Inside move by Williams, little floater pulled up, won't go. And through the hands of Atkinson right to Lowell Washington. Two point lead for the Hawks and here comes number two, Seth Duke. Clyde Ricks finds Quarter in the corner. And now inside to Washington. Charge foul, charged against Lowell. And for the first time tonight, we'll see our featured Nighthawk player of tonight's game, Mr. Jarvis Ricks. Great season for Jarvis. We'll talk to him during the halftime segment of tonight's broadcast. It's a great interview recapping the first year of this Nighthawks program. The Buffaloes inbound the basketball. Here we go, 12.40 remaining in the first half. The Nighthawks lead by two. As Malcolm Jones finds Wayne Jones. Long three, off the rim, no good. Saved by Clyde Ricks. A mismatch offensively. Ricks down the way to Lowell Washington. Can't reel it in, it goes out of bounds back to Arkansas Baptist. Good attempt there, just couldn't quite bring it in. They're looking to turn on that speed. They really haven't had a, a, a strong fast break situation yet. As Clyde Ricks defends against Jones. Cross court pass reeled in. Long three off the mark, no good. Foul is gonna be against number 15. Jamarian Williams. The ball goes back to the Nighthawks. 
12.07 to play. Jarvis Ricks and Clyde Ricks on the floor. We call it the Ricks factor. As Jarvis drives in, he's going to draw the foul and go to the line to shoot two. We've seen this young man do it from all aspects of the floor this season. Offensively, defensively. He'll talk about his favorite play of the whole season in that interview at halftime. Ricks at the line to shoot two. First free throw, no good. Couple of substitutions coming in for the Buffaloes here. Josh Hall will check in alongside D'Angelo Fontroy. And Nathan, if you remember in that game at Arkansas Baptist, Fontroy is their big three-point shooter. Yeah, he was hit from way beyond the, the, the NBA level on some of those. And now trailing by three, they'll, we'll, we'll see if they'll go to Fontroy to try to tie the game here. Fontroy trades off with Josh Hall, now down low, trying to wheel it around and create space. Ball is tipped, now down to Fontroy on the far wing. Fontroy in traffic, drives, puts up a shot. The rebound goes right into the hands of Shane Dalcor, and he puts it in for two. The lead is one for National Park College, 11.28 to play. Steen driving in traffic. Kicks it out to Clyde Ricks, and they'll move it around. There's Weston Church for the first time today. Church, a spin move out to Jarvis Ricks. Pulls up. Long three. Got it. Jarvis Ricks pulls down the tray. And the lead is four for the Nighthawks. The Buffaloes looking to answer here. They've kept it close as we near the midway mark through the first half. Long three coming down on its way. A little bit too hard. Tipped once oh. again. Now blocked away by Corner. They're still scrumming for it on the floor. And the Buffaloes come up with the basketball here. Clyde Ricks has something to say about it. Arkansas Baptist. Good steal. It's tipped away. Corner saves it to Jarvis Ricks. And here come the Nighthawks. Ricks down low. Puts it up. It's good. Jarvis Ricks comes out of the pile with the basketball and capitalizes for National Park. What a possession there. He just kept fighting, kept fighting, and there's that long three-pointer. Air ball out of bounds. It'll go to the Nighthawks. We've got a timeout down on the floor. Arkansas Baptist wants a moment. We'll take it with them. It's a six-point lead for the National Park Nighthawks. 21-15, 10-19 to play. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on x Zero Sports. 15, 10-19 to play in the first half. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. Connor Martinez on camera this evening. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in to the final broadcast of the season for these Nighthawks. KJ Corder, finesse move down low and puts it in for two. The Nighthawks heating up after a big run to take the lead and not look back. Here come the Buffaloes in transition. Little floater pulled down by Weston Church. And now it's over to K.J. Quarter. Quarter leads the charge, speeds into the front court, puts it up, rolls around, and it's in. It's a double-digit lead for the Nighthawks. A back-and-forth ball game through the first 10 minutes, and it's been all Nighthawks since then. Fontroy drives into the front court, in traffic, a little floater, bounces high, and it sinks in for two. Fontroy's first points on the night. KJ quarter, top of the key. In his face is Williams. Long three won't go, and it goes out of bounds. Don't forget at halftime, of course, we'll talk to Jarvis Ricks, our featured player of the game, but also our featured Nighthawk cheerleader of the game. Miss Brooke Neal joins us once again, the team captain for the cheer squad, talking about a great first year for the cheer team. Down low, long three on its way from the Buffaloes, won't go. Jarvis Ricks, the rebound, and he's fouled by Fontroy. Little nudge foul there. The ball stays with the Nighthawks. Eight-point lead for National Park, 8.59 to play in the first half. Clyde Ricks and Jarvis Ricks on the floor alongside Quarter, Washington, and Church for the Nighthawks. K.J. Quarter drives in, in traffic, lays it up and in, and it's a double-digit lead once again, 27-17. Having trouble stopping K.J. on that drive. He just, he gets so far into the basket. 
coming the other way are the Buffaloes from Arkansas Baptist. Oh. That one denied by Quarter. He's charged with the foul, and that's going to send Eddie Brown to the line to shoot two for the Buffaloes. Arkansas Baptist slowly let this one get away from him in the first half. They'll be fighting back. Yeah, they can put up a lot of points in a hurry. So, And we've seen what they can do from beyond the arc here. It all starts here. Brown's first free throw goes in. And a substitution due up for the Nighthawks. Looks like we'll see Logan Willett for the first time tonight. Second free throw from Brown. No good. Tipped up in the air. Picked up by Clyde Ricks. Ricks driving into the front court against Hall. Inside, looks for Jarvis Ricks, and he can't make the connection. Substitutions coming in. There's Willett. Seth Duke's going to check in as well as Weston Church and Clyde Ricks take a seat. Interesting tidbit about Seth Duke, Nathan. Before the game in, in pregame warm-ups, you know Lowell Washington. He's definitely one of the strongest players on the team. Washington was preparing for the game by carrying Seth Duke across the floor. <laughs> and that's how number 12 prepares for the Nighthawks. It was a sight to see. The bucket goes in for the Buffaloes. They cut it to seven. Seth Duke, wide open three, a heartbreaker in and out. Coming the other way are the Buffaloes. That's D'Angelo Fontroy. Got it between his legs. Maintained it, but he got the travel off. Good. Stifling defense there. Good effort by Fontroy there, but just took one step too many. KJ Quarter's going to take a rest, and there's Braylon Steen back in action. Duke, Jarvis Ricks, Steen, Washington, and Willett on the floor for the Nighthawks. Inside, there's Logan Willett. Little push off. Drives in. Can't find anything. Now Lowell Washington takes a turn. Down low. Over two men. He puts it in for two. Seven and a half to go in the first half. A nine-point Nighthawks lead. Fontroy in trouble. Gets it away over to Hall. Now Hall calls the shots at the top of the key. Inside. Bounce pass now to Dalcourt. Nowhere to go. Fontroy pulls up for three. Got it. He's been we talked about it. And there it is. The lead is just six for National Park. Jarvis Ricks looking for some space off of a Seth Duke screen. Nothing going. Ricks dishes it to Washington. Inside the floater. Steen reels it in. And now they'll reset back at the top of the key. Jarvis Ricks. Ricks oh, on the inside. Running room. Puts up a shot. It's blocked. And it's saved by the Buffaloes. Cross-court pass, stolen away by Lowell Washington. Spreading his wings as Washington drives in. It's knocked away. There's a foul, and that one's going to be charged to D'Angelo Fontroy. That'll be his second personal, I believe. Yes, sir. Nighthawks basketball leading 29-23, 6.32 to play. Logan Willett will inbound for the Nighthawks. Eddie Brown's in his face. There's the pass inside. And the Nighthawks control it. Jarvis Ricks in trouble, double teamed. Gets it away over to Washington. Now down low, Logan Willett. Willett makes Eddie Brown miss. Turns around, long three on its way, good. What a move by Logan Willett. He sat Josh Hall down. If they gave him a two on that one. Looks like they adjusted it, Nathan, to a three. Okay, okay. Coming the other way. A long three won't fall. It's picked up by the Nighthawks. Jarvis Ricks, offensive mismatch. He has the lane. He takes it in for two. Jarvis Ricks continues his hot start to the night. There's that long. Long three on the way. From downtown, Fontroy drains it again. And Nathan, I think you're right. They're going to reset that three-pointer back to a two. So we've adjusted it. It's 33-26 now. Seth Duke on the inside. Draws the foul. Puts up the shot. And it's good. I don't know how Seth Duke does it, Nathan. He's done it many times this season. He's not the biggest player on the floor, but sometimes he just makes the biggest impact. Yeah, he, he's really come on, too, in the second half. It's in, these last four or five games, he's just been in the zone. 
Fresh five hitting the floor for the Buffaloes of Arkansas Baptist. We'll see Troy Atkinson, Wayne Jones, Malcolm Jones, Darius Williams, and Ron Walker for Arkansas Baptist. Duke at the line for the and one. Free throw up and the free throw is good. Lead is back to 10. The Nighthawks found their rhythm again. 5.22 to play. Jones on the inside. Dishes it out. Atkinson can't make the connection. And it's a turnover. Back to the National Park Nighthawks. Steen to Duke. Here we go. 5.15 and counting. Duke guarded by Malcolm Jones. There's K.J. Quarter. Had time. Long three. Got it. K.J. Quarter. Beautiful bucket from downtown. He's had a great night as well. On the inside, that one is knocked away. Out of bounds. Braylon Steen sent that one flying. <laughs> Blocks it, and it goes off the Arkansas Baptist player, and he's not happy. National Park basketball inside to Duke, and there's the press coming from Jones. Quarter into the front court. Guarded by both Joneses. He'll set up his offense here. He gives Seth Duke a look. Inside to Washington. Turns, puts up a shot. No good. Rebound Darius Williams. Here comes Arkansas Baptist. Ron Walker. Move down low. He's going to draw the foul. Foul is going to be charged against Logan Willett. So it'll be Buffalo's basketball. Walker will inbound. Walker floats it up over to Malcolm Jones. Down low. Walker thought about the three. Pull up jumper. Willett got a hand on it. And Washington's going to come up with the board. Quickly, here come the Nighthawks. Washington looks to slow things down and give his team some running room. Duke, down low to Steen. Turns, pulls up for three. A little bit short. And here comes Wayne Jones with the rebound and the basketball. Jones down low, he'll draw the foul. This one's going to be charged against Braylon Steen. So 4-16 remaining. It's a 13-point lead for the Nighthawks. Floater inside to Wayne Jones. And now a pull-up jumper across the way. Won't fall. Quarter's got the board. It's taken away by Ron Walker. Plucked it right out of midair. Puts up a shot. Draws the foul. And the basket will count. Beautiful move by Walker. It's not easy to get a takeaway off the likes of Steen and Quarter. Coach Hudnall opts to give K.J. Quarter a rest, and Weston Church checks in. We've talked about it a lot over the past few games, Nathan, but the impact of Weston Church over this second half of the season has been phenomenal. Yeah, it's been just a nice help for this team to have a bench player come off and provide some points and defense. Logan Willett kicks it out, pass intended for Quarter. It's knocked away by Jones. It'll stay with the Nighthawks. 3.55 to play in the first half. What started as a very back-and-forth contest turned to the Nighthawks' favor around the 10-minute mark. Seth Duke in traffic. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Walker. Walker looking to add to the production for the Buffaloes here as he goes down low. Over the head of Logan Willett. Puts it in for two. That is not easy to do. Willett, one of the taller players on this Nighthawks team. The lead is nine as Willett drives in, kicks pass. it out to Church for three. Got it. Weston Church drives it home. And the Nighthawks lead by 12. Got to stay on that perimeter. Inside, little Duke move there, the denied. Duke oh, is stolen away by Jones. There's the mismatch. Two on two, down low. Shot is put up and blocked by Steen. Last touched by Braylon Steen. It stays with Arkansas Baptist. Coach Hudnall says, I got two boys with the last name Ricks, and they're both coming into play. Willett and Duke take a rest. 3.02 to play. 
Down low, Wayne Jones, wide open three. Off the mark, no good. There's Lowell Washington doing what he does best, a big rebound. 250 and counting. Here comes Jarvis Ricks. Ricks guarded by Malcolm Jones. There's the inside pass to Steen. Pull up from the free throw line. Short off the rim. Washington, the board, the putback, and the bucket for two. 14-point lead for these National Park Nighthawks. Malcolm Jones feeds Ron Walker over on the far wing. Nothing going there. Walker moves it inside. Walker driving against Weston Church. Kicks it out. Errant pass saved by Atkinson. They'll reset at the top of the key. Four seconds on the shot clock. Long three on its way. It's blocked by Washington. Picked up by Steen. And here's the cross-court pass to Church. Church unable to do anything with it. Kicks it to Washington off of a man. Puts it up. And it's in for two. Good ball movement there. Good eye by Washington. Saw a man chasing him down. Looked for the open man in church, and they were able to make something out Rick's of it. Rick's brothers are at it. I would not want to be Malcolm Jones in that instance. Walker drives in. Shot up in traffic. Won't go. There's Washington. Another rebound. And the Nighthawks in command. They lead by 16. Here they go again. Steen pulls up. Long three. Won't fall. Trying to put the nail on the coffin right there. Wayne Jones says, not yet. He finds Malcolm Jones. And now inside Atkinson. Atkinson can't make it fall. Steen's got the board, and here come the Hawks. 108 to play in the first half. Jarvis Ricks takes his time. Floater to Steen. And now they'll wheel it around. Wide open. Weston Church got it. Church takes him to church with his second big three of the game. The Nighthawks are flying high, Nathan Looper, 49 to 30, 45 seconds to play. Atkinson puts up a free layup there. And they're gonna try it again. Church, again, yes! Weston Church! Now we've got a foul coming the other way. Jones is fouled. Foul is on Braylon Steen. It's going to be his second, I believe. Steen and Quarter both with two fouls. They'll count the bucket. So Jones is at the line for the and one. First action of Dusty Kesterson tonight. Double zero checks in to give Braylon Steen a rest. Yeah, no need to pick up a third foul here with 27 seconds left. Malcolm Jones at the line. Free throw on its way, and it's good. Nighthawks can hold for the last. Jarvis Rick slowly trots his way across midcourt. We've got a timeout down on the floor. 21.6 seconds remain. It's the Nighthawks in command. Back in action here in Hot Springs. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. 17 seconds left in the first half. Jarvis Ricks guarded by Malcolm Jones. Game clock down to 10 seconds. Ricks kicks it out Washington. Looking to hold for the final shot. There's Church at the perimeter. Into Kesterson. Puts it up. And it's good at the buzzer. Kesterson lays it in for two. And that's how the first half of action. Four. So we get set for the second half of action here from Hot Springs. Back underway. The Nighthawks leading 54 to 35. Pierre Adair back on the floor for the Nighthawks. He holds the rock as he trades off all the way around to the other side. Inside now, Adair. Shot up in traffic, won't go. Washington pulls it down and knocks it in for two. So the halftime break didn't slow down this team any. It's 56 to 35. Inside, pass intercepted. Picked up by Seth Duke. Here come the Nighthawks coming the other way. Duke in traffic, loses it away. Ron Walker knocks it away. Speaking of uh, Pierre Adair, of course, we featured him as one of our X-Zero heroes. The feature story on Pierre Adair went live Saturday, and it's a, it's a great one. If you haven't had the chance to read about Pierre, he's got a great story off the court as well as on the, on the court. And you can find his story online at xzerosports.com. 
There's Adair coming up with a big steal there. Number 15 making his way across the court. Down low to Washington. Bounce pass inside. Adair, pull up jumper. Got it. Pierre Adair. Nathan, I had a chance to talk to him before tonight's game. He said, I'm blessed to be a part of this first-year squad with the Nighthawks. You know, Adair nursed a shoulder injury for most of the part, first part of the season, about two months, and he's due for shoulder surgery after today's game. We wish him the best with his surgery and his upcoming recovery. It's been a pleasure seeing number 15 on the floor this season. Braylon Steen picks up what I believe will be his fourth personal. I think three, I believe he's at. Steen's going to have to come out, and Kesterson will check in. Steen not happy about it. Get some words of wisdom from Coach Jason Hudnall. And with 18.50 to play, here come the Buffaloes. Inside, Malcolm Jones, long three, got it. So the lead is back down to 20. The Nighthawks still in command. There's Adair into the front court, guarded by Jones. Trades off with K.J. Quarter. Quarter. Inside move, draws the foul, and it's going to go in for two. I don't know how many times I've said that this season, Nathan, but he's, he's so intelligent the way that he goes in knowing exactly what's going to happen. He knows the foul is coming. Yep. He draws it, and it's just added icing on the cake to get that bucket. 60-38, to 38, the Nighthawks lead. Quarter at the line. Here's the end one. It's up and it's in. Lead back to 23. The Buffaloes looking to answer back. Moving the ball around here. Josh Hall kicks it out to Walker. Walker on the inside over Adair. Called for a travel. Good defense there from Pierre. 18-15 to play. Washington gets it inside to Seth Duke. Duke making his way across the court. Guarded pretty closely by Hall. Out to Adair now. Adair on the far wing. Inside move. Pulls it up. Finds Kesterson. Dusty puts up a shot. No good. There's a foul. Foul's going to be charged against Seth Duke. And with 17-59 remaining, it's Buffalo's basketball. 61-38, the Nighthawks with the lead. Here comes Malcolm Jones. Ron Walker down on the far wing, kicks it out to Hall, now down low. Jones pulls up for three. Off the front of the rim, no good. They're fighting for the rebound. It's picked up by the Buffaloes. Now Hall will get a chance, had a hand on it, and K.J. Quarter snags it down. Quarter into the front court for National Park College. Guarded by Walker. Down low. There's Pierre Adair for three. Got it. Adair knocks it home. 64-38. There's the charge foul. Adair took one for the team. Adair showing out. The shoulder looks pretty good right now. <laughs> looks good so far. Turnover to the Nighthawks. Floater inside. It's going to be picked up by Hall. And now the Buffaloes with an easy opportunity. A block by Quarter, a foul on KJ Quarter. That's his third. That's going to send the Buffaloes to the line. Josh Hall goes to shoot two. 17 15 to play here in Hot Springs at 64 to 38. I want to say hello to everybody joining us online on xerosports.com and on YouTube. We've appreciated all your support with the live stream all season long. Hall at the line. First free throw, no good. Off camera, we see Weston Church check in. Looks like we've got a timeout down on the floor. 64-38, 17-15 to play, and we'll take a break with him. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com. Your updates on the team through the offseason, facebook.com slash xerosports. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. Connor Martinez on camera this evening. At the line is Josh Hall for the Arkansas Baptist Buffaloes. Free throw is up, and it's good. It's 64 to 39. Down low, Seth Duke was in trouble. Ball is knocked away. Last touch by Malcolm Jones. It goes back to the Hawks. On the floor for the Nighthawks, Dusty Kesterson, Lowell Washington, 
Seth Duke, Pierre Adair, and there's Weston Church to inbound. Church floats it up, picked up by Duke. It's knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Duke. Good defense there. Ron Walker with the pressure. Gets a key turnover to the Buffaloes. They're trailing big, but it's big moves like that that can help them try to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, gotta, gotta still be smart here with this big lead. Walker, they'll wheel it around. Down low in the corner is Malcolm Jones. Kicked out to Walker. There's the inside pass, a beautiful pass. And they're just like that, drawing the foul. Number 10, Darius Williams. He saw Kesterson coming from a mile away, said, I'm just going to take this one. And now he goes to the line to shoot two. Stops the clock. Gives him an opportunity to slowly get back into this thing. First free throw, good for Williams. Jarvis Ricks checks in for the Nighthawks, takes the place of Pierre Adair. On the floor for the Buffaloes will be Malcolm Jones, Josh Hall, Darius Williams, Ron Walker, and Troy Atkinson. Two free throws there for the Buffaloes at 64 to 41. 23 point lead for National Park College. Duke on the inside. Oh, Feeds pass. Jarvis Ricks. And he's hungry for a bucket. He takes it there. Jarvis Ricks said it in the halftime interview, Nathan. He said at the beginning of the season, man, I don't know how these guys would play with each other. Didn't know how we were going to do this. He said we've come together as a team. We figured out our play styles. And they looked like a they look like a very polished squad. You have to remind yourself time and time again, this is just the first year. Right. At the line is Malcolm Jones for the Buffaloes. 16.32 to play. Jones, first free throw, no good. Jones dribbles, takes his time. Second free throw, good. Jarvis Ricks. Calls the Hawks. He's guarded heavily. Kicks it out to Church. Uh-oh. Wide open for three. No, it won't go. Kesterson comes up with the big board. Church is fouled. Ron Walker charged with the personal. It stays with the Hawks. Weston Church to inbound. Kicks it into Washington. Washington down low. There's Duke wide open all alone. Coach Hudnall's play call. Works beautifully to give the Nighthawks an extra two. 68-42, there's a floater coming the other way. The rebound picked up by Arkansas Baptist. Inside, little move, it's blocked by Washington. Coming up and putting it back up. Still coming and fighting for it. And that was all Darius Williams yeah, right there. About three offensive rebounds on that one. He would not be defeated. Duke into the front court. Little floater, no good. Picked up by Atkinson. Here come the Buffaloes. 68-44, 15-35 to play. Malcolm Jones on the inside, uncontested. Shot won't go. It's tipped and it's controlled by the Buffaloes. Josh Hall, long three, no good. And Weston Church controls it. Here come the Hawks. 15-20 to play as Jarvis Rick centers the front court. Inside pass, there's Seth Duke. Duke draws the foul. And once again, that's going to be Malcolm Jones. So Duke goes to the line to shoot two. Fifteen thirteen remaining. Duke puts up the first free throw. Good. Substitution set to come in for the Buffaloes. We'll see Shane Dalcor. Check in for Josh Hall. Duke, second free throw, no good. Rebound, Atkinson. Here comes Arkansas Baptist. Jones across the timeline, trades off with Walker. Walker off the screen, wide open three. Off the front of the rim, no good. There's the putback. Troy Atkinson, another big bucket for that young man. He's been doing very well down low tonight. Yeah, he's got 10 points now for the Buffaloes. 
Jarvis Ricks has some pressure. Finds Seth Duke. There's a reach-in foul. That one is charged to Dalcor. And now we'll see Clyde Ricks check in. Seth Duke takes a rest. Ricks comes in. Now we've got both Ricks, Washington, Kesterson, and Church on the floor for NPC. They'll wheel it around the top of the key. Jarvis looking for some space. There's the screen. Washington gets him in motion. Lowell drives inside. Little finesse move. Puts up the basket. It's good. He'll draw the foul. And Lowell Washington to the line for the and one. I believe they got Ron Walker with that one. It's three on Walker from my count. 14-34 to play. Washington at the line for the end one. In and out, no good. Oh, steal. Picked up by Ricks. It was gift wrapped as Clyde Ricks reels it in. There's Church. Does he have enough time? Pulls up for three. Off the rim, no good. They Substitution don't. coming in as Fontroy is going to check in for the Buffaloes. Taking a seat will be Walker. It's Buffalo's basketball. 71-46, 14-24 to play. Jones moves it over to Dalcor, and now they'll wheel it around. Fontroy had a wide open look. Air balls the three, and it's last touched by Malcolm Jones. Ball goes back to the Nighthawks, 71-46. Braylon Steen is back in action. After a short rest here in the second half, Lowell Washington takes a rest. The Nighthawks facing that press from the Buffaloes here. 14.06 to play. Jarvis Ricks signaling his offense, finds Clyde Ricks. Steen drives inside, over two men, puts it up, draws a foul. Steen goes down hard. But I have a feeling that one was almost premeditated. Yeah. Wanted to make sure he got the opportunity there. 71-46, Steen at the line to shoot two. First free throw from number 24 is good. Lead is 26 for the Nighthawks. Steen puts the second one down with no trouble. Under 14 minutes to play in this one. The Buffaloes into the front court. Ball knocked away by Ricks in hot pursuit. As he dives into the scorer's table, and there he goes, chasing after the basketball. Moving it around. Fontroy pulls up for three, won't go. Steen's got the rebound. Braylon Steen turns on the juice, and he collides into a player. It's picked up by Clyde Ricks. Ricks skates past Jones, puts up a shot in traffic, won't go. Gets his own rebound. Bounce pass to Kesterson. They'll reset. Spin move by Jarvis Ricks. On the inside, won't go. The Buffaloes with a fast break opportunity down low. Shot is put up. Kicked out to Jones for three. Good. Malcolm Jones drains a big three there. And we'll have a timeout down on the floor at 73-49. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com. Connor Martinez on camera this evening. Good evening. The Nighthawks lead 73-49 at 13.06 to play in the second half. Nighthawks basketball as we rejoin play here. Coming out of the timeout, Jarvis Ricks to Clyde Ricks. And the Ricks boys set, th set up shop at the top of the key for National Park. Also on the floor, Steen, Kesterson, and Church for the Nighthawks. There's the screen from Kesterson. Down low, Church. Pull up, three-pointer. Hit as he shoots. It's picked up by Fontroy. Big rebound there. Cross-court pass on its way. Down low. It's fielded behind the back pass. And they're scrumming for it on the floor. The official almost took a hit there. Goes out of bounds, and he was turned around. He doesn't know who touched it last. He's going to have to confer with his team See who last touched it. They're going to call it a jump ball. Checking in for the Nighthawks, Logan Willett. He'll take the seat, or take the place, excuse me, of Weston Church. Set to inbound to the Buffaloes. Here's the inbounds pass. Williams kicks it out to Jones. 
Now they wheel it around. Inside, threading the needle. Now a little pull-up floater there. Shamirian Williams knocks it down for two. It's his first points on the night. 73-51. The Nighthawks quickly make their way down low. Clyde Ricks over a man. Called for a charge. Won't count. Ricks goes down hard. It's all smiles, though. And the, uh, the Clyde Ricks fan club here in the stands, they enjoyed that one. 73-51. Kesterson takes a seat. Quarters back in. 12.05 to play. Here come the Buffaloes. Williams finds Fontroy. Long three. Air ball. No good. Eleven fifty nine remaining. Wayne Jones checks in for the Buffaloes. Seventy three fifty one. Quarter to inbound. Finds Jarvis Ricks. Here come the Nighthawks. Ricks has it poked away by Malcolm Jones. Jones very aggressive on defense tonight. He's been fun to watch. KJ Quarter guarding against Dalcor. Shane Dalcor looking for a steal. Quarter, unafraid, takes it home to the hoop, won't go. Cross court pass finds Malcolm Jones into the front court. Jones over Willett, puts it up, looking for a foul, won't get it. Dalcor with the rebound, he puts it up for two. The lead is down to 20. As we have a substitution coming in here. They got a foul on Malcolm Jones. Yeah, they got a technical foul on Malcolm Jones. Josh Hall is going to replace him here. That's going to send Braylon Steen to the line for technical free throws. Steen, first one, good. 11.32 to play at 74 to 53. Steen misses the second. And now it'll be Nighthawks basketball. Clyde Ricks to inbound. 11.32 to play. It's knocked out of bounds by the Buffaloes. Willett trades off with Ricks, and here we go. 11.25 remaining in the second half. Clyde Ricks. There's the reach-in foul. Wayne Jones with the push. Tries to plead his case, but it's not heard. We've got a whistle here. I believe they were trying to get the shot clock reset, if I understand correctly. No, the scores table says that that's enough fouls for a one and one. So gotcha. Clyde Ricks is going to go to the line for the one and one. Wayne Jones trying to plead his case to the official. Ricks, first free throw, no good. It's picked up by Williams. Here come the Buffaloes coming the other way. Darius Williams. Now down to Wayne Jones. They'll move it around. Inside, it's knocked away. Picked up Logan Willett. Willett, fast break opportunity in the front court. Willett, pull up jumper from the paint, and he's going to drain it. Big bucket there for Logan Willett. And here come the Buffaloes. Under 11 minutes to play. Coming in, little floater, too short. Getting his own rebound is Dahlcourt. Still fighting for it, comes up with it again. For the second time tonight, we see Dalcor never giving up and putting it in for two. 76-55, it's knocked away, but a reach-in foul. This one is charged against Wayne Jones. So Clyde Ricks is back to the line to shoot a one-and-one. One. Lowell Washington's going to check in. Steen's going to take a seat. On the floor for the Hawks, Clyde Ricks, Jarvis Ricks, Logan Willett, KJ Quarter, Lowell Washington. On the floor for the Buffaloes, Josh Hall, Darius Williams, Shamarian Williams, Shane Dalcor, and Wayne Jones. Ricks misses the one and one for the second consecutive time. And here comes Arkansas Baptist College. Wayne Jones. 
Fakes a three. They'll thread it in on the inside. Williams, shot blocked, and it's picked up and tipped in. I believe a Nighthawk tipped that one in. I believe they're going to credit Shamarian Williams with the basket. 10-13 to play. The Nighthawks with the ball. 76-57. Willett inside Washington. Now wheeling it around. Ricks back to quarter. Now Washington. It's tipped away. Ricks comes up with it. Pulls up long three. It's blocked. And the shot clock expires. That's a turnover. Buffaloes get it back here. Buffaloes really stepped up their defense here in the last five minutes. They've had a long uphill battle to overcome in this one. But here in the second half, they've been making waves. 9.50 to play. Good job by Willett. Willett knocks that one out of bounds. Stops the clock. The Buffaloes retain possession. Jones, top of the key, dives inside. Hot pursuit by Clyde Ricks. That one's tipped away. Jones able to come up with it. Williams to Jones, thought about the three. Jones just trying to get some space off the screen, looks to drive inside, kicks it out down low, and now it's just taken away by Clyde Ricks. Ricks looking to set up the offense for the Hawks here. 9-18 to play. The Hawks leading 76-57. Inside pass, Washington. Bounce pass inside Ricks. He's going to roll it around. Inside. Now will it. Will it. We've got a whistle. Three seconds. Yeah, three seconds in the lane. That's a turnover. Not sure what National Park College was looking for, Nathan. I felt like they had a couple of opportunities there. Yeah, sometimes they just make you make your too many extra passes when you just need to go for the shot. They had a couple, of, like you said, open looks. You know, certainly with the big lead and a lot of basketball to play, they're looking to kill some clock, but that one came up empty. The Nighthawks have the ball back. Clyde Ricks into the front court for National Park. Down low is Quarter on the near wing. Guarded by Williams, slowly takes his time. Quarter, long three on its way, just off the mark, no good. Atkinson comes up at the big board, the Buffaloes coming the other way. Wayne Jones puts up a shot, he's traveling, and he tips it, he turns it over. Guess they're gonna put on the press here. Braylon Steen's gonna check in. Logan Willett takes a seat. Steen and Quarter are out there with three personal fouls still, so. 8.24 remaining. Ricks puts up a floater for Jarvis Ricks. And here comes National Park. Clyde Ricks reels in that one into the front court. Dives in. Finds Braylon Steen. Steen trying to draw the foul. Can't get it. Turnover goes back to Arkansas Baptist with 8.14 remaining. Idoc's been stuck at 76 for a while now. Long three on its way. Williams shot won't go. Braylon Steen the rebound. Here comes Jarvis Ricks. Down low is Lowell Washington. There's a push off foul. They're going to get Wayne Jones again. I know he's wrapping up there as far as his personals go. I got three. I may, I may have missed one though. So Washington is at the line to shoot two. And Jones will take a seat. Looks like the coaching staff opts to keep Jones in. Washington, free throw, good. The lead is 20. As Seth Duke rejoins the action off camera. Duke joins Jarvis Ricks, Braylon Steen, KJ Quarter, and Lowell Washington on the floor. Second free throw, no good. Wayne Jones and the Buffaloes into the front court for Arkansas Baptist. All the way around to Josh Hall, now Williams. Pull up three, Wayne Jones, got it. Big bucket there. He's had some tough breaks, now was a big shot there. Yeah, it was. Lead is 17. Washington, guarded by Jones, hands it off to Jarvis Ricks. 
Looking to move it inside. Ball is stripped away, goes out of bounds. Last touched by the Buffaloes. 77-60. Quarter will inbound. Inside, Washington, beautiful. As he puts it up for two, it's good. Lead is 19 once again for National Park College. Inside is Atkinson. Atkinson over Braylon Steen lays it in for two. Each team trading buckets, 7.03 to play. Duke into the front court, trapped as he gets it over to Jarvis Ricks. Ricks looking to slow things down. Shot clock down to 15. There's the inside. Washington turns, puts up a floater a little bit too short, no good. Coming the other way, Wayne Jones into the front court for the Buffaloes. Jones beyond the perimeter, trades off with Darius Williams. And now inside, the layup ah, put up. That's four on Steen. Yep, Braylon Steen's going to draw his fourth. Shane Dalcor goes to the line to shoot two. So the Nighthawks in danger of losing big man Braylon Steen. Six thirty-three to play. Dalcor first free throw, no good. National Park does have some big man depth on the floor, on the bench, if needed. Kesterson can make an appearance, as well as Weston Church. As Dalcor puts in the second free throw. Seventy-nine, sixty-three. Seth Duke well rested. You can see it with the speed there. Lowell Washington trying to tip it in and won't go. The Buffaloes continuing on its comeback try here. It's stolen away. Washington coming the other way. Drives past two Buffaloes. One man to beat. Bounce pass. Little floater behind the back. Braylon Steen, the finisher. Good assist by Lowell. Wayne Jones left all alone down low. Won't go. Long three uh, fails to go in. Jarvis Ricks trying to draw a foul there as he goes into the front court. Finally gets it. That's Wayne Jones. That's his fourth. Coming in to replace Jones is going to be Eddie Brown. Jarvis Ricks at the line. 81-63 with 5.52 to play. First free throw, no good. That substitution coming in now. Brown officially checks in for Jones. Free throw On. shooting's been a little bit off for the Nighthawks tonight. They've missed a lot of free throws. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Jarvis Ricks doesn't miss that time. 82-63. Under six minutes to play here in Hot Springs, the final game of the season for the Nighthawks. Hard shot won't go. And now coming the other way, Duke one-on-one. -on -one. Makes a man miss, puts it up for two, and makes that one look good. 84-63. Hall into the front court, and he is stripped. There's a foul. And this one's going to be charged against Jarvis Ricks. Hall goes to the line for what I believe is a one-and-one. One. Jordan Harper is going to check in for the first time tonight for the Nighthawks. Harper, one of the better three-point shooters. Just so happens to be that he's number three. Harper's a pretty good defender as well, so they're not losing anything on defense. Yeah, defensively, I, I, I compare him to Clyde Ricks. He's out there, he's aggressive, not afraid to make the most of his minutes. 84-64, Hall, second attempt on its way. It's good. Malcolm Jones comes back into the game as Josh Hall will take a seat. 84-65 with 5.29 to play. Washington finds Seth Duke on the inbound. Duke willing to take his time as he dishes it to Washington. Here's the inside to Steen. Has time. Pulls up for three. Drains it. Braylon Steen making a big impact tonight. 87-65.
Jones at the top of the key. Trades off Williams. Now long three on its way. Dalcor won't go. Now they got Quarter for his fourth. Yep, Quarter's going to get signaled with that one. A little hand slap against Eddie Brown. Looks like the foul is against Quarter, but it looks like Malcolm Jones was the individual fouled. It'll be a one and one for Jones. Ron Walker is going to check in for the Arkansas Baptist Buffaloes. Been a while since we've seen him in action. 4.55 to play, 87 to 65. Jones, first free throw, good. Jones takes his time, second one on its way, it's good. The lead is back to 20. KJ Quarter makes his way into the front court, tries to create some space between him and Ron Walker. There's Breland Steen, and a screen from Washington. Washington pulls up for a long bucket. A rare long ball by Washington doesn't go. With 4.35 to play, Malcolm Jones drives in quickly. Shot doesn't fall. Steen's able to pluck it away. And here comes the cross-court opportunity. Harper, down low, has all the time in the world. Wide open, three. Off the mark, no good. The Buffaloes in transition, coming the other way. Put up by Brown, he's fouled. That's all for quarter. And it counts. KJ Quarter's day will be done. I think. Well, maybe not. We may they be may wrong on that foul one of count. The other fouls to someone else. We may be wrong there. Looks like Weston Church is going to check in for Steen. Quarter still in. 87-69, 4-16 to play. Weston Church on the floor for the Nighthawks. As the bucket is good for the Buffaloes. Seth Duke. Into the front court, pursued heavily by Malcolm Jones. Down low, they left Weston Church wide open, Nathan, and he punished him for a big three. That's four for the night on him. Four three-pointers, 12 points. Impressive. If we were keeping our, our tally for maybe a second-half MVP, it could be that young man. Quarter, a floater. Seth Duke reels it in somehow, puts it up. He's <laughs> fouled. Duke is fouled, going down hard as Eddie Jones. Going to the line, it'll be Seth Duke. 3.49 to play here in Hot Springs. National Park looking for that century mark, 10 points away. Duke, first free throw, good. Yeah, 10 wins in the first season, it's impressive. I know we talked about the record early in the broadcast. How many losses this year for this team? Just five. Just five. KJ Quarter comes out for Pierre Adair. Adair getting some crucial minutes here in the tail end of tonight's contest. It's 92 to 70. The Nighthawks can finish this one out. They'll finish at home in the Hawks' nest, 6 and 0. Amazing, impressive. But a foul on the rebound. They may get Adair with that one. Adair not happy about it. That'll send the Buffaloes to the line. Eddie Brown's going to go. Trailing by 22 are the Buffaloes of Arkansas Baptist. With 3.40 to play, Brown's at the line. First free throw up and good. Brown takes his time, second one on its way, and it's good. The Nighthawks coming the other way. The inbounds pass. A kickball. And they signal it's going to stay with the Nighthawks. I think even Pierre Adair is surprised. <laughs> Adair gets it into Weston Church. Now hand off to Adair. A travel call. So Adair was moving as he reeled in the pass. And that tips it right back over to Arkansas Baptist. I think he had the ball long enough for them to call that travel. 
Clyde Ricks is going to check back in. Adair takes a seat. And here come the Buffaloes. Malcolm Jones into the front court for Arkansas Baptist. Driving against Harper. Down low is Ron Walker. Good steal, by Wow. Plucked out of the air by Seth Duke. He's going to take it all the way the other way. Dishes it off to Church for three. Oh. Church, a rare miss from beyond the arc. Ron Walker coming the other way for the Buffaloes. Fed in down low to Dalcor. He's fouled. Church will be signaled for the personal. Shane Dahlcourt at the line to shoot two. 3-12 remaining in this one. And like you said, Nathan, the Hawks looking to go undefeated here at home this season. First free throw is good for Dahlcourt. Second attempt on its way, it's good. 92-74 as Duke quickly makes his way into the court. Has to dish it off. Washington trades off with Church. Shot clock down to 17. Duke setting Washington where he wants him. Now down low, Jordan Harper. Harper to Ricks. Clyde Ricks to Church. Has time. Pulls up ah. for three. Air balls it way off the mark. No good. Church has missed two in a row. He shakes it off as he goes to defense. And that bucket there was all Ron Walker. Coming the other way are the Buffaloes. Lowell Washington able to come away with the ball. 92-76. Pass intended for Seth Duke. Takes out Coach Hudnall's chair. <laughs> 2.18 to play. Set to inbound are the Buffaloes. Arkansas Baptist basketball. Dalcor finds Jones now down low to Cedric Smith who checks in. Long three on its way. Malcolm Jones won't go. Dalcor with the, the putback. No good. Weston Church has a big rebound. Church quickly all the way home. Draws the foul. And they'll get Eddie Brown with that one. Now it looks like they're going to signal it on Cedric Smith. Regardless, it sends Church to the line to shoot two. Uh, 159 to play in this one. It's 92 to 76. Church, first free throw, good. Substitution checking in, Logan Willett. Prepares to come in for the National Park Nighthawks. Church misses number two. Clean interception by Clyde Ricks. Puts it up for two. Talked about his defense all season long. Impressive. Coming the other way, Dahlcourt. Shot don't fall. Harper with the rebound. 140 to play. The Nighthawks are cruising. Washington coming inside, guarded by Dalcor, lays it up and in for two. Clyde Ricks picks up another loose ball. Ricks coming the other way, past two Buffaloes, past three, all the way home. He's going to kick it out. He's going to turn it over. We have substitutions coming in. Logan Willett checks in. We'll see Desmond Pinson for the first time tonight. And Clyde Ricks and Lowell Washington take a seat. There's a reach-in foul. I believe they're going to signal Jordan Harper there. On the floor is Harper, Duke, Pinson, Clyde Ricks, and Logan Willett. One twelve to play. 97-76 to is Malcolm Jones. Floats his first free throw. It's good. Buffaloes have kept it around the 20 mark. Haven't been able to really get much inside of that. 97-78. 110 to play in the Nighthawk season. Duke finds Willett into the front court. Inside pass, Pinson. Pinson puts up a shot in traffic. Won't go. Fighting for the rebound. Dahlcourt has it. 
Shane Dalcor coming the other way. Puts it up, lays it up off the glass. It's in for two. 55 seconds remain. Seth Duke dribbles against Malcolm Jones. Inside, there's Pinson. Puts up a floater, he'll draw the foul. Foul comes against number 15, Shamarian Williams. Pinson's at the line looking for his first points of the ball game. First free throw on the way for Desmond Pinson. Off the mark, no good. He'll get another opportunity here. Second free throw for Pinson. High off the mark, no good. Rebound, Williams. Here come the Buffaloes with 40 seconds left. Down low, kicked out Cedric Smith as a wide open three. He drains it for three. Lead down to 14, but not enough time for the comeback here. 32 seconds and counting. Clyde Ricks floats it to Harper. And there's a foul. That one's against Shamirian Williams. Stops the clock, 26.9 seconds remaining. I'm gonna put Harper at the line. Nighthawks trying to get to 100 here. They've Sport. been stuck at 97 for a couple minutes here. Jordan Harper at the line. And it looks like we'll have a player fouling out here. That'll be number 15, Shamarian Williams. He's replaced by D'Angelo Fontroy with 26.9 seconds left. Harper, first free throw. Good. Good. 98-83, 26.9 seconds left. Technical foul. Charge against Malcolm Jones. I believe that's his second. And if that's right, he's gone. So that's going to give extra free throws to National Park College. I believe that'll be the end of Malcolm Jones tonight. Something was said down in the free, th the free throw formation. The officials are talking it over now. Jordan Harper set for his second free throw attempt. We'll see what the Nighthawks want to do here. Think Coach, Coach Hudnall conversing. All of them. Harper at the line. Next free throw on its way. Good. Harper with the chance to bring it to 100. Free throw, good. It'll be Nighthawks basketball with 26.9 seconds remain. Oh, it looks like it would be the, the Buffaloes here. 100 to 83. The Buffaloes with 20 seconds left in the contest. Cedric Smith blocked by Pinson. The shot put up by Brown. No good. It's tipped and controlled by Dalcor. Long three coming down from Fontroy. No good. Clyde Ricks has it with 10 seconds remaining. And the National Park Nighthawks can dribble it out for their 10th win. In their final game of the season, the Nighthawks are victorious. Your final score tonight. 100 to 83, the Nighthawks win. We're back after this. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com.